listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett Land and all of my friends around the world. Nice day here in Gwinnett County. A little overcast, 48 degrees, going up to a high of 59. So it's a little bit on the cloudy side this morning, I would say. But still, none, nonetheless, it's a beautiful day. Any day above ground is a beautiful day. So be thankful and be grateful. Yes, yes, yes. So today is, what's today, Wednesday? No, today, Tuesday. I'm, I'm jumping ahead. Of, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Today is when, Tuesday, January 17th. Yes, happy birthday. Shout out to my good friend, Sandra Bright. She has been my friend for a very long time since we were like, let me see, we were 15. We were in 10th grade. No, 11th grade. We were 16. Since we were 10 years, 16 years old. So happy birthday, Sandra girl. Love you to life. She's one of my best friends in the world. And call on her for anything. She's one of the first investors in one of my companies. And so I will always forever love her. We went to high school together. We spent a lot of time together partying in our younger day. Like when, when we party, it was like four of us. It was me, Sandra, my friend Rosa, my friend Angie. It was us. It was us. We were the we were the we were the party crew. Like we and then we had another friend named Naz. She passed away a few years ago from breast cancer. And she was the baby in the group too. But we party all the time. So happy birthday, Sandra. Also want to give a happy birthday. Shout out to my stepdaughter Katrina Nicole Kearney. Happy birthday, darling, all the way over there in Ohio. It's your day. I hope you both have a wonderful day. And speaking of days, today is National Lose Lose the Jet Lag Day. Well, I don't have to worry about that because I have not been anywhere to get jet lag it's also national uh, benjamin franklin day national cable car day um national customer service day listen if you were in business every day should be customer service day i'm just saying i am just saying some people like well you shut your mouth um international we are not broken day we are not broken it's also ditch your new year's resolution day people did that already on, on january 5th like right after the first, and they had a chance to sit back and think about their dish New Year's res- resolutions. Right, January fifth. It's Judgment Day. Mm, go on, be your own judge and make up the rules this Judgment Day. So be your own judge. Okay. So speaking of Judgment Day, I dropped the ball. I'm gonna be my own judge. So we're having an event, a tech event on Saturday, and we always go to the same location. Nobody's ever there on Saturday ever. Like we always go. And so I didn't think to check and see, was there an event scheduled that day? And I'm in a, I'm on a conference call this morning and the, and the company, the organization that I'm on the conference call with said, we're having an event at that location, the same time, the same day. So of course I start to freak out because we go all the time and nobody's ever there. And, um, so in my, I, I should have checked, you know, I just assumed and I, you shouldn't assume. So I'm judging myself. I dropped the ball. Now we have to. Now we got to do damage control and figure out what to do, because the event that's being held, I'm almost positive it's bigger than our event. I'm almost positive about that. So, um, yeah. Anyway, Kids Inventors Day. Kids Inventors Day. It's also James Leonard uh, Tagle Gordon Day. I have no idea what that is, but it's his day. National Bootleggers Day. Now listen here. Bootlegger in bootlegging is illegal. Don't you go out there and get yourself caught up. Speaking of bootleggers, I be watching moonshiners, my husband and I, and watching them making moonshine up in the woods of Tennessee and North Carolina. Yeah, they be, it looks very, it looks very interesting, but you can go to jail. And then my thing is you're on TV doing that. So they take a big risk every time they do it. It's National Carolina Day. It's also National Charlotte Day. So if your name is Charlotte or Carolina, it's, it's your, it's your day. National Hot Heads Chili Day. Listen, don't go out there eating them hot chilies if you know your stomach is bad and your throat is bad. I'm just saying. It's National Thai Day. Have no idea what Thai is or Tay. National Hot Butter Rum Day. Need one of them right now, y'all, because I was over here freaking out about this event. Like, me and events, right? I need to have an events committee because events have so many moving parts, and we've been planning these events since probably November. Probably November, maybe even maybe even December, we've been planning this event. And when I tell you that it's up to the two events we've been planning and right now we're coming down to the wire and it's just a mess. I'm like, Oh my God, I can't even believe like how crazy it is, but I'm just, I'm gonna have to get me an event committee for all the things I do. 
Um, it's National Popeye Day. Yeah, like Popeye, like Popeye the Sailor. I used to love Popeye the Sailor. Printing Ink Day. I need some ink right now. Rid the world of fat dice and gimmicks day. Well, good luck with that one because I can't even imagine. Oh, happy birthday to the first lady, Michelle Obama. It's your birthday too, darling. Happy birthday. Oh, it's Betty White's birthday. Happy birthday, Betty White. All the way to heaven. All the way to heaven. Dwayne Wade, happy birthday, Dwayne Wade. It's your birthday too, honey. I know you and Gabrielle going to do it up. Happy birthday, Miss Eartha Kid. Happy birthday, happy birthday. FKA Twig's birthday. Have no idea who she is, but happy birthday, darling. Jake Paul's birthday. Happy birthday. So Jake Paul, I think he does all that stuff up on YouTube, making all that money. Yeah, YouTube. He's a YouTube man. Uh, James Earl Jones. That's a lot of birthdays today. Happy birthday, James Earl Jones. Jeremiah Rabber's birthday. Happy birthday, Jeremiah. Jim Carrey's birthday. There's a lot of Capricorns going on here. What is going on today? Kim Rock birthday is today. Wow, Mary Povich's birthday is today. Muhammad Ali birthday is today. Happy birthday, people. Happy birthday. Oh my God, Ray J's birthday is today. All right, Ray J, happy birthday. Sarah Molina's birthday is today. Skate Mal- Skate Malloy's birthday is today. Steve Harvey, bro. happy birthday. Shout out to Uncle Steve. Happy birthday, Steve. And Zoe Deschantel's. The Chanel's happy birthday. It's a lot of people born on this. I didn't even so Steve birthday today. Happy birthday, Steve. All the Bray J. You know what's funny though? Let me say this because I gotta say this. So I dated I dated a Capricorn. I was I was actually engaged engaged to a Capricorn, and I was like I would never date another Capricorn. They are the whiniest men I've ever seen. And so my nephew. I love him forever. He's my baby. His birthday was January 14th. So when he was, when he was born, I said to my brother, Ooh, he's going to be a whiner. And she, he goes, why do you say that? Because he's a Capricorn. Like Capricorn men are whiners. So sorry about that guys. Y'all whiners. Anyway, I married an Aries. So go figure. Anyway, it's also, um, I did not know January was give blood, save life. So it's, um, National uh, Blood Donor Month. So if you want to, you know, give some blood, you can save a life. Over in um, over in in Swanee, you can make a difference by donating at the city hall. Um, they got they having a blood drive at city hall in February, uh, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. So if you want to, you know, you want to donate some blood, you want to give some blood. I'm a little bit low. I mean, I yeah, I'm a little low. We run a little low around this these parts over here. But if you not if you're not like me, you don't run low. You can give some blood, and so that's going to be February 10th at Swanee City Hall, uh, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. To register, you go to Red Cross blood.org redcrossblood.org and you can register to give some blood okay it is national it's national um blood donor month i didn't even know that i would have announced that at the beginning of the at the beginning of the month all right let's keep this train rolling let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer mike thousand for the day tuesday january the 17th we're gonna kick it off like we always do and that is with aries your charm will attract someone special opportunities to get involved in investment groups will pay off Talk to others about your plans. All right, look at you being charming today, Aries. It's going to attract somebody special. Now, listen here, all of, all you Aries out there, y'all do what you want. The one that I have, watch yourself, boy. Watch yourself. Watch yourself because I'm watching you. I got my eyes on you. Eyes are everywhere. I know you're charming. I get it. I get it. Ooh, opportunities to get involved in investment groups will pay off. Here's the thing, Aries, right? Um... If you decide to get involved in investment groups, which, you know, I'm not against, but I will just say make sure you do your homework and make sure you understand the opportunities that you're about to in, uh, in, invest in. Because here's the thing, if it looks too good, it sounds too good, nine times out of ten, it's not true. So don't let somebody sell you some dreams and then you invest your money and you get bit. So be careful about that, okay? Taurus, deep discussions may only lead to friction. Don't let someone tr- try to bully you into doing things their way. Travel would promote new romantic encounters and additional cultural knowledge. All right. Okay, romance is about to be Valentine's Day. Everybody looking for a Valentine? Anyway, you're going to have some fun. You can meet some new romantic partners, but you got to get out and travel a little bit. All right? All right, Taurus. Gemini, be sure that you lay your cards on the table, baby. Things will be in motion with your mate. Try not to attempt to do something unless you are fully intent on following through with your plans. All right, listen. Don't start something that you know you're not going to finish. Just don't do that. Because here's the thing. If you start something and it involves other people, it's going to make you look bad. Now, if you want to start something that only you going to do, okay, do what you got to do. But if you want to, if you're planning on starting something that involves other people, it's going to make you look bad. It's going to ruin your reputation. So don't do it. On the flip side, put your cards on the table. 
You know what I mean? Things are going to be emotional when you put them on the table with the mate, but put them on the table because that way nobody don't have to guess. They don't have to guess what you're thinking. You don't have to guess what they're thinking. You know what it is because you laid the cards on the table. Do what you got to do. Cancer, your emotions will be touched off concerning recent encounters with your lover. Spend some time with yourself, uh, spend some time on yourself. You may experience setbacks due to additional responsibilities with loved ones. All right, spend some time loving yourself, Cancer. I get it. We are nurturers as women. As women, we are nurturer, nurturers. Here's the thing. You got to spend a little time on yourself. And for the dudes, y'all do the same thing. You deserve love too, self-love. You sure do. You deserve self-love, Cancer. Do something about that. Make yourself happy, all right? And your emotions going to be a little off today. Yeah, but you'll be okay. Go, 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 go do something to make yourself feel better. All right, cool. Leo, put your energy into self-improvement programs that promise to make you into a better person. You will attract new love interests. You need a change, and you need to earn some more cash. Ah, I get it. And you know, I, this is Talk Business Tuesday. There are many ways for you to earn some extra cash. And I'll, on the second part of the show, the second segment, I'm going to talk about some of the ways that you can earn some extra cash. I'm only going to talk about a few. So for those of you who are listening, I'm only going to talk about a few. Okay, and I'm going to talk about some of the things that you can run into. But anyway, put your energy into self-improvements, Leo, that's going to make you look better, make you feel better, make you into a better you. Personal development is really important. You got to take time to to develop the person that you want to be. A lot of times we sit back and say we want to be something, but we don't spend the time to develop into that person, right? You can be anything you want to be for real. Like today is like you've all, people have always been able to be what they want to be. But here's the thing, y'all, it takes work, right? Now, if you just want to be really calm and at peace and you don't have any big aspirations, you just want to do your thing, that's fine. But if you got big aspirations, you want to do big things, you got to do, you got to do big things to do big things. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta do big things to do big things. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what you got to do. Um, Virgo, there might be a problem with with a will or with an insurance policy. Your high enthusiasm will be sure to inspire anybody around you. Speak of speak of the future goals and intentions and commitments. All right, so listen, there could be a problem with an insurance policy or um or will. And you want to make sure if you can, Virgo, it may be a little too late for that, but if you can, if you fix that problem, be sure to make sure you put it in a safe place and, and make sure it's documented where it's supposed to be documented. Those things are really important. Wills, insurance policy, all of those things are important. I know people don't want to hear about that, but you need to have these things in place, all right? So I hope you straighten it out today. It's going to be okay. Fix it if you can and put put it in the proper place so people can find it if they need it. They understand it. All of that good stuff. Make sure you handle your business today. All right, Virgo? All right, cool. All right, I'm going to go to a song. I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Micah Thais. And stay tuned. East Coast always in me, Commonwealth, Lil Joe, getting love from my city, yeah. I roll call for the DMV, in my own lane, you could still ride with me, yeah. Lord knows I made mistakes, you won't end, but it's too late. I don't need your support, just to know I'm important. And I won't ever sell myself short, cause I know you see me on the come up.
back, welcome back. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you the daily horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Micah Thyssen. We're going to pick it up with Libra. Your emotional stability may influence the changes taking place in your personal life. You can make reasonable bids on real estate or large items for your home. A change is good. A change is good as rest. Don't go looking for change. Don't go looking for it, but it's good. So here's the thing. Maybe you just need to rest for a second, right? Maybe you just need to rest. Anyway, you got a lot going on. Your emotional stability may influence changes that's taking place in your personal life. All of that is, here's the thing. Take a minute, Virgo. Take a breather. Stop for a second. Take a beat, right? Take a second just to reflect on where you are and where you want to go, right? Because right now you got a lot going on. Everything is up in the air. You got deals trying to be made. Your personal life is, is up in the air. Take a second and stop. Sometimes you have to just be still. So you can hear what God needs you to hear. Somebody needs to hear what I'm saying today. You need to take a minute and be still so that God can, so you can hear what God is trying to tell you. You all, I, listen, after, listen, I've had like two setbacks this morning. So I'm saying to myself, God, what you trying to tell me? Like you're trying to tell me something. I don't know what it is, but I'm listening. I'm listening. So I'm going to take a second when I get finished the show. I'm going to take two as a matter of fact, because I need to hear what you're trying to tell me. Cause I was like, oh my God, I'm falling. I'm about to have a meltdown. So anyway, take a minute, Libra. Scorpio, cultural activities open your eyes to new ways of doing things. Children will be, a, will be of a major concern if you haven't kept the lines of communications open. You should get into programs that will enhance your appearance and help you, do, help you be the best you you can. All right, so sounds like to me you need to go to the gym. Do some yoga, go to the gym, do some Pilates, you know, join a walking club, you know, I don't know that when they say get into programs that's going to enhance your appearance, that's the only thing I could think of. You may have something else you want to get involved in that's going to help you out. But here's the thing, you want to be the best you can be, so you do what you got to do. Now, that that being said, I'm not saying going out there and get what they call a BBL and zip lips and all, not I'm saying, I seen, oh God, let me tell y'all this. So one night, I'm scrolling on TikTok. It had to be probably about 1 o'clock in the morning because I couldn't sleep. So when I can't sleep, I'm TikToking. And so and, and I can't sleep because I'm thinking about business. So to take my mind off of business, I TikTok sometimes because that's going to take my mind off. And then, I'm, then I can go to sleep afterwards. I know that sounds crazy. It's me and my own little issues. But anyway, I saw this girl, and she was on TikTok, and she was pulling her lip off. And I was like, what is she doing? And then she took like a fingernail file or something and put it in between like the lip and the... I'm like, what the heck is she doing? Well, she had on a prosthetic lip. And it was ugly. And I said to myself, why in the world would she want her lips to be that big? So she took the lip off and her regular lips were fine. I'm like, really? So I'm saying all that to say... Scorpio, don't go overboard on trying to enhance the appearance. Because some people just, she had a prosthetic lip on, y'all. Like she said, and I'm looking at her like, what is she doing? It looked real, like a real lip. And she took and stuck something between the fake lip and the real lip. And I'm like, what is she doing? It was a prosthetic, prosthetic lip. Like she had had a lip put on her, on her lip. I thought that was the craziest thing I had ever seen. Sagittarius, <clears throat> you don't want to give anyone fuel for the fire. Opportunities to travel will develop through peers. Don't be too quick to blame others for your bad mood. Listen, don't it's you. Don't be trying to blame others because here's the thing. Only we can control our own moods. I know you don't want to believe that, but it's the truth. Like, we have the, we have the choice whether or not we want to be upset about something, whether or not we want to be in a bad mood about something. It was so funny. So It wasn't, wasn't funny. So last night... Um, my daughter called and it was like 9.30 she goes to bed like 8 o'clock so I'm talking on the phone like wait a minute she's calling and I look at the phone like it's 9.30 well she calling so she called and then she's yelling and screaming like what is wrong with you so my granddaughter took the scissors and cut the side of her hair off and my daughter was having a fit she was going and I was, so I'm all calm right like look she's a baby you know you can't turn you can't turn your back on her for a second this is me talking she's a baby she's three like, I know she she's smart. She's very, very smart, y'all. We have full-blown grown folk conversation, but she's a baby. And I was like, she's a baby. You trying to be politically correct, diplomatically correct. Something she said, I was like, I'm not. Here's the thing. She has cut her hair. You know, you turn your back on her for a minute, figure out how to fix her hair. That's that's it. Like, I don't need all that yelling and screaming. It's not going to change one thing. It's not going to change the fact that she done cut her hair off. It's not going to change the fact that whatever you was doing, you missed it. So here's the thing. Figure out what to do with the side of the hair that she don't have any hair on. And she was, oh, she was going. 
So my, my, my thing to that is, you know, sometimes you just don't have control over things. You just don't, you know. You change the things you can and the things you can't, don't worry about it. That's what, that's my thing. So my daughter was yelling and screaming. I was all calm. And she said I was being politically correct. No, I'm just being calm because at the end of the day, the hair is gone. You can't make it. All this yelling and screaming is not going to make it go back. She has to take pictures of her birthday coming up. I understand all you saying. Fix her hair. Figure out how to fix it. See, that's the problem with me, right? For folks, not me personally. For people, I'm not that person that's going to dwell on problems for hours. Now, now, I had a meltdown this morning for about 20 minutes, right? And I was like, you know what? At the end of the day, we got two events at the same location. One or two things going to happen. I'm going to find another venue or we're going to cancel the event. And that's going to be the end of that. That's it. But for a hot second, I was having a meltdown. And I, and I sent my little group of text like, hey, um, now I've got to, got to make some quick adjustments. After, I'm like, after I said to them, I'm having a meltdown, right? That's, and then about 20 minutes later, it's like, okay, meltdown is over. What am I going to do with this? So now we're in, we're in action mode because I don't have time to like sit there and wallow in what, what happened? What is the solution to the problem so we can keep moving? That's me all the time. And some people don't like that. They feel like I'm dismissing them, but I don't have time to wallow in problems. Like I just don't have that kind of time. And so people want to live in the issue. Like, nah, it's over and done. We can't fix it. Let's go. You know, people don't like that. Sometimes I, I was, I was told I dismiss people when I do that. But I just, listen, don't bring your problem to me. Because you want me to, you want me to sit there and hear you waddle, you know. Now, I get it. I will sit with my friends and we will talk about things in our personal lives and we'll listen to each other. And we probably say the same things over and over. That's different. But when people have a major problem and they want to blow up about it, and my thing is, and they keep talking about, okay, so what's the solution? That's, that's me. What is the solution to this problem? I don't want to talk about the problem no more. What's the solution? My daughter, and I'm sure my daughter got mad at me last night, but she, I don't, I don't have time for all that. I don't hear all that. She cut the hair. You weren't watching them when she cut her hair. She cut her hair. So now you got to figure out how to, how to fix the hair because she's three. You can't leave three years old alone. You just can't. So it's hilarious, but it, you know, she was angry, but it pisses me. It pissed me off. Cause I was like, now I can't sleep cause I'm mad for a second. Then I fell asleep like a baby. Sagittarius, you don't want to give any... Okay, that was you. Don't give people fuel for the fight. Capricorn, happy birthday, all the caps out there. You have been going through a period of change that no doubt caused problems with your loved ones. Concentrate on work. Overindulgence could lead to problems with digestion, okay? Overindulgence in something could lead to, pro could lead to problems with your digestion. So I don't know what that is, but, you know, if you have problems with your, your digestive system today, Capricorn, just know that you have overindulged in something. I don't know what it is. In the meantime, concentrate on your work. Get the job done. Aquarius, you'll be surprised how much you can accomplish. You can meet new and exciting friends who provide mental stimulation. Your tendency to vacillate will drive everyone crazy. So, I do a video every night for the horoscopes. Every day for the horoscopes, right? And um, I put it on my YouTube channel. And, and so when I put this one, so I, when I put this one on the, on the, on the, in the video creator, right? It showed this man and I'm like, what is he doing? Like literally I was like, yeah, that can't be a part of my video. Cause I can't really tell what he was doing. And I'm like, S -s he was sitting on a bus, but he, it, it just looked crazy. Anyway, anyway, you'll be surprised at how much you can accomplish today. Aquarius. Here's the thing. When you focus, when you focus, you'll be totally surprised at how much you can actually accomplish. I, I'm telling you. When you're not focused, nothing gets done. Nothing. Like, you might do one thing that really don't mean anything. You know what I'm saying? All right, last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces, find ways to mellow out. What ways are those, fish? You know, my Mellow Out is, is a good magazine. I started reading Entrepreneur, which is one of my favorite magazines, and I haven't read it in a long time. And I started to read it the other day. Um, when I went to the doctor because I needed to see, make sure I didn't have COVID <clears throat> and I actually have bronchitis, but I was just, it was just so relaxing to me. I used to do that all the time. I just spent all, I used to spend a lot of time reading magazine and it was so relaxing. And I was like, man, I missed this feeling. So find something to mellow you out, fish. For me, it's magazines. It, it, it always has been. And I, I miss it because I'm so busy right now. Um, but you find your way. All right. It may not be magazines for you. Maybe fishing, maybe cooking, maybe listen to music. Oh yeah. Music mellows me out too, y'all. I love it. 
But here's the thing. If I play it late at night when I'm about to go to bed, I can't go to sleep because I'm singing. So that's not a good thing. Your diplomatic approach and rather outgoing nature will enhance your reputation and bring you the support you need. Uh, so that was me being diplomatic last night. That's what she said. I was being diplomatic. No, I'm just being real. Like, we, it's, it's over. Emotional deception will cause friction on the home front. All right, emotional deception will cause friction on the home front. Yeah, I'm not I'm not embracing that fish. I don't know about you, but I'm not embracing the emotional deception because I don't need no friction right now, right? So I'm only embracing happiness and peace and love and joy on my home front. I don't know what you're what you're gonna um, embrace. I'm not embracing emotional deception from anybody. All right, all right. All right, guys, that's all the horoscopes I got for you today. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noda Astrology and Micah Thyssen. Now let's get on to some news you can use. Um, here's, here's something I found interesting. They said there is a record number of Georgians, to be exact, over 846,000, who signed up for health insurance for 2023 under, under the Affordable uh, Care Act. Yeah, that was interesting, right? That was interesting. Um, that's about 8% of the state's population and at least 145,000 more signed up for the program last year. So <clears throat> there are a lot of people who say, you know, Obamacare, Obamacare this, Obamacare that. Yeah, you need it right now. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, because healthcare is high. Everything is high right now. It's nuts. Like I just, I can't believe how expensive everything is. Gas is high, food is high, insurance is high. Everything is high. Anyway, the program is steadily growing here in Georgia. Only about 316,000 Georgians signed up in 2014 for the first year. But um, right now, it's over 846,000. So healthcare is one of our big issues. So many things that's just high right now. My car insurance high. I, when the car insurance went up, I'm like, what the heck is going on with the car insurance? It's high. Y'all check this out. So, um, yeah, Norcross got some new cars, some new police cars. They're cute, too. I ain't going to even lie. I was like, that's nice. So they said, we're so excited to share Norcross Police Department's newest car on the block, a fully patrolled, outfitted electric Ford Mustang um, that will be used to patrol the community outreach. for Used use for com, uh, patrol and community outreach. Yeah, they unveiled. It's actually really cute. Like, I like the car. It almost kind of, it looks like it's a it's a Mustang but it's kind of shaped like a Mercedes a little bit. Like like the, um, what is that, the AMG? It's kind of shaped a little bit like that. Like those cars. It's actually pretty nice. So check it out. So those of you who like cars, this is your opportunity. So if you spot it around town, be sure to tag it. They want you to tag it with um, hashtag sustainability at work, hashtag um, Norcross Police. Pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm like, okay, look at Norcross trying to do big things. All right, I'm going to go to a song. I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of the rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. Stay tuned. Your heart, keep it in your pocket for safekeeping. Don't ever let nobody be the reason. You throw it out, you stop caring about.
Welcome back, welcome back. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing the daily rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. So the Gwinnett County Transit has a new look. Yeah, it has a, it has a new look. It's called Ride Gwinnett. It's a part of a branding, a rebranding of the transit system. So on January 12th, county officials held the Transit Grand Reveal event at the Gwinnett Department of Transportation Central Operations and Maintenance Facility to display Gwinnett Transit's new brand and new name. So it got a new brand and a new name. Sometimes you got to do that, y'all. Sometimes you got to make a change. As of this month, your Gwinnett Transit system will be called Ride Gwinnett. Yes, that's it. It's not Gwinnett Transit anymore. It's called Ride Gwinnett. It was formerly known as Gwinnett Transit, Gwinnett County Transit. The original brand has remained unchanged since these uh, since the launch of the service in 20, 2001. The county has adopted a new brand, and a brand new uh, transit um, will ensure that Gwinnett standard is reflected throughout all county services. Um, we are rebranding all assets, which include but not but are not limited to our transit website, um, buses, bus stops, shelters, and bus signs. The rebranding process will continue through the rest of 2023. And um, we will work to um, in a mul- in multiple phases so that our operations are not impacted. So, um, Commissioner um, Nicole Luck Henderson was proud about this. Now, here's the thing: some people, <laughs> some people are not happy. Listen, you can't please everybody. So, when I be reading this comment, somebody put, "How much did that cost?" So, because you know, people, people are, people are something serious, right? Somebody said, you know. We don't need a new rebranding. We we don't need all these this all this transportation coming in Gwinnett County because a lot of people aren't happy because they said the more transit we have, the more riffraff that comes into the county. But here's the thing: you got a lot of people, so if we don't get transit, you are gonna have a lot of cars on the street like we already have. So it's like you can't you can't win, right? Let me tell you what I've learned about public service: you can't win, no matter what you do, no matter how hard you do it. You got people over on Facebook arguing about you know. Who, the, which party did what and who's the cause of what it, you can't win so the only thing you can do is just do what you can do you know the transit system is adding more routes and expanding services um so what is your point I mean they people people some people are happy some people aren't say why why the, why the need for rebranding why rebrand to largely mimic the martyr bus did the commission just tip their hand um that they seek to join martyrs yeah so that somebody's very suspicious like I rebranding means fresh and new. And that's to me that's what it means. But people you gotta read some of these comments. I be laughing. Like when I do read comments, I just can't believe some of the things I read because it's it's just hilarious. Because and you can't win, you know, and I think that's that's the disheartening part. And so when you go into public service, I don't care if you are getting a paycheck, people are rough. Right, they want it their way. They don't care about what you're saying. They don't care if it's gonna be nice or not. They don't care. They don't care. Anyway, keep moving. Um, new public art in downtown Duluth is called Meet Me on Main. Yep, yep. New public art. The city of Duluth is excited to introduce the newest public art to enhance our art loving community. Located on the back windows of Nacho Daddy. I've been to Nacho Daddy. I like Nacho Daddy, too. Nacho Daddy building. The Meet Me on Main mural allows you to take a colorful step back into the old Duluth. Well, that's about all you can do. It on get it on the wall because right now Duluth is pretty built up and nice. Brenda Illy is the talented artist behind the piece. When asked to describe her newest mural, um, she said, When I first moved to Duluth in 1984, the city... Seal displayed the Metro proud, uh, proud in old and new, pride in old and new. I think the spirit is alive and well in Duluth, and I hope my painting, Meet Me on Main, reflect, reflects that value. So the location of the mural is, installation is actually the same as the scene depicted. That's nice. The bank is currently the site of the chocolate of the chocolateer where Parsons Dry Goods once stood. 
and you can now find good word brewing on the city um, right there so right where Parsons dry goods used to be it's now good word brewing on the city requested a colorful whimsical interpretation of a historic photograph and I'm honored to have been included in this project so I can't wait to see it like I love going to Duluth like I love I love Gwinnett y'all yeah if y'all haven't figured it out by now I love Gwinnett um yeah I do and I know some people on this they probably and here's why I love Gwinnett right I love Gwinnett because it's beautiful. That's the first thing. Um, it's it's we have a we have we have so many cultures, cultures here, and we have so many nationalities here, and it's just, it's a melting pot for real. Like it is it's, it's it, I love even though it's so much built up, we still have like downtowns that look like back in the day. We have like cottage downtowns that I love. Like I love those. I think they're beautiful. And so, um, I mean, it's, I, I love it here. So that's why I talk about it all the time because it's my home and, um, I don't plan on going anywhere. Um, I mean, if I'm forced, of course, but hopefully I'm not forced. But anyway, if you want to take a look at the mural, it's located at Nacho Daddy. I like that, right? Nacho Daddy. It's located at 30, 3095 Main Street and it's, um, numbers, uh, 500A, Suite 500A. And that's in Duluth. So check it out. I'm sure it's pretty nice. I'm sure it's pretty doggone nice. I know. All right, so it's Talk Business Tuesday. Let's talk business. So one of the horoscopes today was talking about you need to um, you need to make some extra cash. Y'all hear me say this all the time, and I hate to repeat myself, but I, fi- I feel like there are a lot of people out there who are feeling helpless right now because they can't figure out how to make some extra cash, right? And I'm here to tell you that there are so many ways to make extra cash. So let, let me run down a couple. Um, there are ways for you right now to go on there. I, I'm thinking about doing something in the children's space because I do have a three-year-old granddaughter who will be, um, she's actually going to be four on Monday. My baby will be four on Monday. I had to think about that for a second. But I'm thinking about doing something in the children's space. So y'all hear me talk a lot about artificial intelligence and where things are going. And it sounds kind of spooky to some folks. But for me, a person who, you know, who like tech, and, and stay, kind of try to step on like what's happening in the tech. I just see the possibilities. So there's technologies out there right now that you can type in some words and it would draw you a picture. You could create an entire book based on just typing in some words and drawing some pictures. And then you can write that. You can actually write out like if you write the book, right? If you write a book, a children's book, which is what I'm thinking about doing. Um, if you write a children's book, and you put it into this software and you type in the scene, the software, the AI would draw out the scene based on the book. Now you got a whole children's book. So think about that for one second, right? You're looking for ways to make money. You want to, you, you know, children, people love their kids. They, they're always buying stuff for their kids, always. And so, you know, there may be stories you want to tell, like history stories. Like for me, I want to tell some history stories and I'm going to put it in, in this format um, using AI and I'm going to, I'm going to promote it to parents for their children because these are great stories that people don't tell. So that's a way for you to make some money. You can also create your own app. Like people look at your phone. If you don't believe apps work, just open your phone up, right? Open up your phone and look at the apps on your phone. I have so many apps on my phone. I got five, I got six, I got about eight pages of apps. Let me, let me count them. I, I really need to count them now just to see how many I actually have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight pages of apps on my phone, installed on my phone. And I just deleted some this morning because I'm like, hey, I don't use that one. But I'm looking at the others like, yeah, I can't, I can't get rid of that one because I may need it. So you can create an app and there's so many ways to do these things without having a whole lot of money. So you can create an app. You can create a game app, you can create a, a business app, and then you can sell the app to people. You can sell access to the app to people where you can make some extra money. I'm working, another thing I want to work on, and I've been talking about, is, is a school. And it's going to be a school to teach something that I don't know how to do, but my husband does. And we talk about this all the time. But there are ways to make money. Now, here's the thing. If you are one of those people who are multi-passionate about a lot of things, you're going to struggle. I'm not going to even front with you. You're going to struggle. And the reason you're going to struggle is because you get excited about everything and you want to do everything. 
And the more you dive into all these opportunities, the more you're going to want to do everything. So what I would say to you, multi-passionate person, is for before you even start on this journey to start something new in this business space, just stop for a second and think about what you want to accomplish and what that thing could be. Because you're going to run into so many things, it's going to make you want to do so many things. I spent yesterday, I'm doing something right now. I'm launching something on, on March the 10th. So I'm doing something and I had to do the research. I tell you, I got, when I went to bed last night, when I got up from my computer, it was 1:26 in the morning because I lose myself when I start to work on these projects. However, if you can control it, like I can control it. If you can control it, you can make things happen. But if you're just starting, find something that you really, really like and focus on that one thing. It'll make you money. Now you're going to have to put in some work. You know, if you want to do the children's book, it's it's artificial intelligence out there to help you tell your stories in a very vivid way. It's beautiful. I'm telling you, it's beautiful. But once you go to those sites where they are, you get lost in just the art itself. You get lost in just the possibilities. You lose, I'm telling you what I know, it's like an addiction. You lose control. I've turned this, I've turned people onto this software and they have came back to me and said, oh my God right because they weren't people who would normally do this my cousin is, 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 a, is a prime example i gave her this wonderful idea she was like i need to make some extra money i don't want to be in a nursing space anymore i don't like this space i'm tired she's been in it forever and i was like do this this and this she like the next couple of days she was like oh my god because it's so beautiful but the possibilities are endless y'all now that's just that's just creating artwork for a book you can also create a game app you can create a gaming app and not know how to do a word of code and not spend thousands of dollars. Think about a game that you would want to play. I love this game called Heads Up. It's an app. We play every time we get together in my house and nobody wants to play space with me, we play Heads Up. And I be cracking up every time. It's an app. It's an app on a phone that people play. Now, we play it for free. But here's the problem. We run out of time and stuff like that. So if we want to keep playing um, uh, um, and, and, and uninterrupted, you got to pay for it. You got to pay for it. And if you like the game, you will pay for it. So so now you got a children's book you can do. You got an app. There is something called a mobile notary. I see so much information on there about mobile I even thought about doing that at one point. A mobile notary is a person that is licensed to, do notar- to notarize papers, and they come to you. And they charge a premium for coming to you. I've heard people say they charge anywhere from fifty to a hundred dollars because they had to drive to that person to notarize some papers, and the person had to pay it because apparently they really needed the paper notarized. <clears throat> so that's a mobile notary. Do your research. You're looking for extra money. Here's some things that you can do: children's book, gaming app, mobile notary. Just some things you can do, right? You can you can start your own little newsletter. I have a magazine called Noisemaker. It is a beautiful magazine that I do once a month. It is so easy, y'all, to do a magazine. And I do it print and digital. When I tell you easy, if you can just go to Canva, and Canva should be paying me, go to Canva, right? Open up a Canva account. It's free. You don't even have to use the paid version. Type in magazine. It's going to pull up some templates. Get your stories. Put it in the magazine. Send it to MagCloud, M-A-G-C-L-O-U-D dot com. Put it in MagCloud. MagCloud is going to give you a digital version, and it's going to get you can get a print-on-demand version. Now you got a magazine. Sell ads in your magazine, baby. Listen, y'all got to think outside the box. It's ways to make money. It really is. Consulting. Are you good at something? Set you up a landing page. I'm not even saying a website. Set you up a landing page, say, work with Tammy, workwithtammy.com. Set that up. Put up what Tammy's going to help you with. What problems What problems can Tammy solve for you? Put that on. You don't need a full-blown website. You need a landing page. You need a landing page, and it needs to tell you about Tammy at one part. First, it's going to tell you about what Tammy can help you solve. Tammy can help you solve this problem, this problem, this problem, with a cute picture of Tammy on the side, right? Then you come down to the bottom. And you talk about the people that Tammy has helped. Now, if Tammy hasn't helped anybody, you don't have it yet. Just put in about about Tammy. You want to tell people the benefits they're going to get of working with Tammy. That's all you need. And put a button down that say, click here to work with Tammy. 
And when they click there, it's going to take it to your PayPal account, your Stripe account, your Square account. They're going to pay Tammy's fee, and then they're going to get on Tammy's schedule, and she's going to do a consultation with them. If you know how to do anything that somebody else will pay you for, you can charge a fee. I told y'all, I was, I was, I was, um, this woman reached out to me. She was in, God, it's something with a C over in Illinois, close to East St. Louis. That's what she said. She said she lives close to East St. Louis. She found me. She reached out to me on a Saturday saying, I'm having trouble with my Airbnb. And I said to her, okay. She said, I said, well, do you want to do an interview or do you want to do a consultation? She said, oh God, I want to do a consultation. I said, okay. I sent her a link for the consultation. She paid right then and there. When, she, when I saw the payment come through, I said, okay, let's talk on Sunday, the very next day. And I talked for 45 minutes with her. But that's because I know what I know. So if you know something, people will pay you for what you know. Yes, you got to do a little work. You got to do a little bit. But people will pay you for what you know. They will pay you. And so, you know, I just wanted to give you some ideas about some things that you can start because extra money is all around us. You just got to know how to go get it. You know, you got to know how to go get it. And you can't be afraid of the hard work because it's going to put, you got to put some work in. That's the other thing. Like people don't want to put the work in. You got to put the work in. All right. You got to make the time. You got to manage your time. You got to manage your people. You got to manage that freaking phone that you walk around with. I've seen people spend hours on the phone. It makes me dizzy. I'm like, oh my God, are you still talking on the phone? Like, I, I, I don't, I don't like talking on the phone that much. Like, that's crazy. You know how much time that is that you're wasting? Oh my God, I've seen people do it. I'm like, oh my God, that person's still on the phone? Like, you still talking? For hours. I can't understand it. I cannot. All right, that's all I got for you today. I'm going to go and uh, give you my last song. Then I'm going to come back and give you my word of inspiration for the day. So stay tuned.
Welcome back, welcome back. So listen, guys, that's all I got for you today. But before I go, I want to give you my words of inspiration. Here it goes. It says, and this is, you know, this one just popped out at me. I thought it was really good. It says, don't pass the ball. Take the shot. Ooh, I'm going to say it one more time. Don't pass the ball. Take the shot. And I'll tell y'all a quick story before I go. So I have two nephews, right? My The one I talk about all the time, his name is Trey. And um, he's he's my he's my oldest nephew, and um, um, he's a coach. He's a football coach and a college football coach, but he used to play basketball. He played football and basketball, and he played both of them really well. But he decided to focus on football because he didn't think he was tall enough to play basketball. But when he played high school basketball, he was a beast. Do you hear me? And he's left-handed. And so I would be at the basketball game screaming, saying, "Take the three, make the three, baby, give me a three. And he would always make me a three. And so, um, but he wasn't a ball hog. He would pass the ball. He's always been a team player, always, always been a team player. And his father would be on the sideline saying, take the shot. Take the, and he would pass the ball because he's a team player. And it's cool. Sometimes, you know, you have to be a team player, but sometimes you have to take the shot. You just have to take the shot because you got to look at, you got to look at, you got to look at where your team is, right? If your team is not where it needs to be, if everybody's not in their place and the shot is open, you have got to take the shot. I'm just saying, somebody needs to hear that right now. You don't have to pass the ball. I watch the game and I watch basketball and I'm like, man, why don't you just take the shot? This is me in the background because there's some openness, but sometimes people want to be such a team player, they forget that it's okay for them to take the shot as well. So what I know, I'm not saying don't be a team player. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is when there's an opportunity for you, when the floor is open for you to take the shot, take the mother effing shot. All right? All right. That's so all I got for you today. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you spent the last 53 minutes with me, and I love you and appreciate you for that. Listen, if you miss any episodes of the show, go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to check out past episodes there and also check out some of the great articles that are on the site as well. Be sure to follow me on social media at Good Morning Gwinnett. And also go to my YouTube channel. Child, it is growing when I get them numbers. So so there's this thing called VidIQ. I'm not even a part of VidIQ, but some kind of way I'm on their radar. And every day I get a report. And when I tell you my views, I got a report this morning at 1.18 a.m. saying I had 30,000 views. I was like, what? And this is all, y'all, in a matter of, like, two weeks. Like, I really had no views, on, like, really, for like, for real. You could count them. Over the last two weeks, I've been working, two weeks, I've been working on my YouTube channel. I am so excited. And so, on Good Morning With Net YouTube channel, I have, I think I have almost 100 subscribers which before two weeks ago, I think I had 23 or 43. I think I had 43. And now I have over 30,000 views because I'm implementing the things that I'm learning about YouTube into the channel. So I'm excited about that. So anyway, check out my YouTube channel. Of course, it's Good Morning Gwinnett. Check it out there. Um, And also be sure to listen. In the description below, there's a line and then there's a description, some stuff below. Below that, below that line are, are are affiliate programs that I'm a part of. Um, to support this show, please be do me a favor and click on some of the links and support some of the vendors in those links. When you support the vendors, you support this show. So I thank you for doing that in advance for your support. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. God willing, you guys stay safe out there. And until next time, my friends, until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. <laughs> You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.